Walk up in the life. Yeah, I'm really am. Talking my sh light. I'm really him, hold up. Look, walking this bitch light. Hey. Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my sh light. Hey. I'm really him. Don't believe me, come and see me. Got three wishes for my genie. Morning, you guys. It's 5:29 at my emergency. Got the fit on. Gym shark as usual. I don't even know where the shirt is from. Think it's misguided. Gonna do a quick little gym set. Let's head to boxing class. Always start with the wrap over top of the hand, around the thumb. We're gonna go three times around the wrist, inside of the wrist, to the outside of the hand. So to our pinky, and then what we did on the wrist, we're gonna do on the knuckles three times. Complete the X, so we came across, you wanna come across itself. Behind the thumb, whip of the thumb, palm of the hand, back to the thumb, through each finger. So we wanna start from the outside in, go to the pinky. This is called the bones of the wraps. You can see all the lines, the inner workings. Wrap wherever you feel like you need a little bit more stability and cushion, covering all the lines underneath. And then once that's done, we always want to finish up around the wrist. It's somebody's birthday! Happy birthday! Okay, so for Lucky's 10th birthday last year, I actually was just moving into this apartment. So for his 11th, it was, you know, double digits, double numbers. I could not let it slide without a little bit of a fuss. So I ended up doing like a little birthday photo shoot little station and I gave him some treats this day and this is how it turned out. Come here honey. Let's see if this fits you. It does. Cutie boy. That's a good birthday boy. Oh my goodness. Look at the birthday boy. Look at my boosh boosh. Your little bandana. That's a good boy it is a Okay, the true test will be if he allows me to put this on him. He's turning 11 today. He doesn't do well with clothes, but he's pretty good with headpieces. So let's see. He's waiting for me to take him to the store. Let's see if he puts this hat on. <laughs> you look so cute, Lucky. Oh my gosh. Stunning Lux. Oh my goodness. And if you know anything about my dog, he actually hates pictures. <laughs> first time he stood still for this long for a photo. I cannot believe it. He looks so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. He is showing out today for me. He's never been this cooperative with photos ever. Happy 11th birthday, Pookie. I love you. I love you so much. You're my favorite boy in the whole world. So I ended up taking him to the pet store. They didn't have a lot of toys at this pet store, so I just ended up getting his favorite thing which is food i ended up getting some treats and i got a little birthday cake for him that i gave to him later on that week hello mother do you want to have a birthday play date with lucky and blue okay i was talking about this in my last vlog but i really want to get my rook pierce and my conch pierce so i'm on my way to get that done i had the thought while i was in the store to have him have a little play date with my mom's dog so that's what i'm gonna go do after i get my piercings they have never met my mom's had blue for a couple of months now so i wanted her to get acclimated in her own space before introducing my dog there's a huge age difference my mom's dog is about to be two and lucky just turned 11 so there's a very big difference but lucky has a lot of energy for an 11 year old so I am interested to see how this goes. I am actually a little bit sore from boxing this morning already. It was nice to be able to learn a new skill. This is my first time boxing ever. I learned some basic techniques. I love the environment and the atmosphere and it felt safe to ask questions, be uncomfortable, and I liked it for beginners. And there were definitely some people that were more skilled in there. There was only about five of us in the class this morning at 6 a.m. So I was really happy because y'all know me, the less people around me, the better. So I was excited that it was not that big of a class. It allowed me to feel a little bit less anxious. This shoulder is definitely gonna take a minute. Thank you, thank you. Say hello. Who is that? Lucky? Hi. 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 Hi.
Hi, honey. I know. Whoa. Nope. Okay, sit. Both of you. <laughs> That's my good girl, <laughs> He's like, and what about me? I sat. <coughs> that was a lot. Now I'll tell you. Come on, children. Upstairs. <laughs> She's like, look. <laughs> Pump this straight. And use your exhale to pull the belly down, and that's what brings the leg back in. Inhale, switch. Gorgeous. Exhale, switch. Beautiful. So I'm actually talking to you guys on April 28th, 2024. <laughs> Do not kill me y'all. This is literally from February, but this is the first full Pilates class that I ended up taking. I went to a different place. As you guys can see, this is a little bit of different scenery than the first Pilates that I showed you guys. Totally enjoyed it, highly recommend. So after I did that, a couple days later, I finally took down my Christmas tree, which is really funny <laughs> saying that now that it's literally almost May, but at the time, it was a big deal, okay? My Christmas tree meant everything to me. I really put my foot and heart and soul into Christmas 2023, and best believe I will be doing it again this year, but the Christmas tree had to go. It was up for far too long, but we will miss the winter wonderland that I created because it was everything, and Lucky was definitely over it. Happy 11th birthday to you. Thank you for being the best dog in the world for 11 years. My favorite little boosh. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this was actually my first bar class that I ended up attending. I actually had no idea what bar was until I downloaded ClassPass and started looking through the classes that they offer and the facilities that they offer. And Pure Bar was one of those. If you guys do not know what bar is, I don't either, girl, <laughs> okay? I just know it's a lot. It's giving aerobics the way their cadence is when they're talking. But as you can see, we was doing some <laughs> serious stuff in here. We was using twos and fours, sixes and eights, balls, mats, girl, on the floor, up and down. It was crazy, but I do love it. It's a really good low impact workout for me, especially with my health and everything. And now the part that I've been waiting for since I started this video, girl. My hair appointment as i am talking to you i have to take these braids that you're currently watching me get in out because it's been that long since i posted a video but this was me getting them on march 11th love this girl i actually found her through my mom she recommended me her the girl that used to braid my hair no longer braids it crushes my heart every time i say it out loud but i actually still keep in contact with her love her she watches my videos sometimes so hey girl i miss you please come back but um i found this girl she's everything we're living breathing dying for it and let me tell you she is so fast a couple of hours and we're done i ended up getting a little bit of extra long braids here and i am in love with them and i'm so sad i gotta take them out but i'll be right back girl i will be back and y'all will get a video. But these are the, she calls them medium, medium box braids. And I ended up getting them in the extra long length. Every time I get my hair done by her, compliments on compliments. We're living, breathing, dying for it. And invest in your hair, ladies, okay? It is something that you need to be investing in. Healthy, happy hair is a healthy, happy girl. So here I am, protective style, baddie, rise. Now we are getting piercings again. I'm obsessed with her aesthetic. I told her I was in the middle of editing this video and the previous piercings I got, I couldn't stop staring at her outfit. Same thing here. She is the only person I trust with my piercings and that's just that on that. We're having a conversation about my previous piercings um, and the fact that I can't get any more tattoos. I'm crying about that to her. Um, she is actually piercing my 
What is she piercing, y'all? I have gotten so many piercings. Oh, she's piercing my tragus. <laughs> the fact that I forgot is crazy. Okay, so she's piercing my tragus because I really wanted that on my left ear. I have a date in there, and I just love the way that it looks. I saw this girl. Her name is Bruna. Her brand is Asolari, and she had a tragus piercing on the same ear as her date, and I just really wanted to embody that. And the more piercings, the better, honestly, at this point. So I was telling her that I really wanted it. Honestly, it felt like the forward helix. I used to have that, but it rejected. I don't know if I want to do a round two on that, but if you're wondering for pain, it's kind of a burning sensation rather than an actual poke like the rest of my piercings. Uh, like six out of 10. We love, we live. Thank you. As you can see, this is not my car. I am currently in a rental and it's a long ass story, girl. This week I really wanted to hone in on the relaxation, girl. I wanted to have a self-care, calm, and collected week, but that is not what's happening. But right after I got my hair done, I was driving home after my piercing and my car literally started shaking on the highway and I didn't know what to do. I was going to pull over, but something told me to drive home and I'm so glad that I did because when I drove home, I parked and when I tried to turn the car back on later, it would not start. All of the service lights came on and I immediately had to get it towed. It wouldn't even drive. So I just got my car towed yesterday. I spent all of yesterday, I didn't even go to work. I spent the whole day trying to tow my car. The towing service that I used did not have a truck that was small enough to fit into the garage. I had to go through a different towing service and pay out of pocket. I got it towed to the dealer. I am currently waiting on the diagnosis as to what is wrong with the car. I am honestly, <laughs> yesterday was so stressful. It was not giving relaxation, not giving self-care at all. So I did not vlog yesterday <laughs> because I was stressed, girl. But today we are turning a new leaf. I'm so glad that Hyundai was able to give me a rental. This is actually a Hyundai 2024, which is kind of funny because I'm not even going to lie, not to toot my own horn, but my... 2022 feels more updated than this 2024 so i really do want my baby back but for right now we are rocking with this car i really like it actually i wish that my car didn't have a white interior sometimes because i do have a brown dog and there's currently dog hair in the back of the car i feel really embarrassed that they have to look at that but it is what it is so we are currently going to be on the way to get my nails and my toes done i haven't got my nails done um, I think since December and it's been a hot minute. I don't get them done very often But I really wanted to treat myself and have everything in a line I really just wanted to do a full maintenance glow up week So I got my hair done getting my nails and toes done I'm gonna get a wax this week sometime. I don't know when so that is what we're doing today I am on my way to go get my nails and toes done But I think I'm gonna stop by and get some food because I haven't had anything today And I know that the nails and toes are gonna take about an hour or two maybe three So I definitely need to eat something before I I go so let's go did it again got me on 10 got me on 10 got me on 10 got me on 10 did it again got me on 10 got me on 10 got me on 10 got me on two doors in my coupe i look better under you girl i love you you my truth OJ with that juice, got that magic 32. Yeah. Tell me what you tryna yeah. do. Look, look, I'm hotter than 10. Check out my phone and you calling again. Pull up outside and you wall in the pen. Tipping it up, I don't need to extend. Running it back in again and again. It is so good, got you telling your friends. You late for work, stuck in traffic again. Do not disturb, now we off at the grid. Mm, mm. Who does it better? Did it again, got me on 10, got me on 10, got me on 10, got me on 10. Did it again, got me on 10, got me on 10, got me on 10. All right, you guys, just got back home. I ended up picking up some Chick fil A. I just got off the phone with my car dealer. I have just been having the worst luck with cars ever since I got my first car. I think there was a recall on the fuel injector or something. Don't even, I don't even wanna talk about it. But I am back home and I wanna show you guys something because I didn't get a chance to show you. I finally took down my tree. But what you do not know is that I finally bought some artwork for that wall that's driving me insane and I wanna show you guys. So I ended up getting these for the wall next to my TV. I'm super excited. I got these from Wayfair. They were on sale for I think about $90 
for open box price. These are big ass paintings. If you guys don't know what open box is on Wayfair, basically somebody opens the box, they don't like it, and they immediately return it. I've only had two experiences with Wayfair open box. One of them were pillows and one of them were these paintings and both of them were very, very good experiences. It's literally like brand new. The only difference is there's a little bit of ripping in the plastic, but there are no... Lucky, really the loudest toy right now while I'm talking. Thank you, love you too. These are paintings by Matisse. I looked him up, I think he's a French artist. You guys know I'm a neutral hoe. Everything in here is browns, blacks, creams. So I got this. There's two of them. This is the first painting. This is the one that was opened, but look at how beautiful. I'm super excited. I'm gonna layer them on top of each other. And as you guys saw, they are huge, so they'll definitely fit on the wall. I'll show you guys the vision. Hi, honey. How are you? I am planning on putting the bottom painting right over top of this vent and then the top painting like literally all the way to the air vent on the top. It's gonna cover that much space, so I'm super excited about it. But let me eat my Chick-fil-A and I'm so happy about my nails, I could cry. Okay, I finally ended up hanging up my artwork a couple of days later. The pacing in this vlog is so insane, I'm so sorry, but it's the Lost Files for a reason, okay? I really love the way that this took up space on my wall. I know I didn't express it that much on the camera, but y'all, this empty space because of the way that the guy hung my TV in my apartment was really getting to me, okay? So I'm finally satisfied with the way that my apartment looks especially this wall because i go in the living room so often and i love the way that they look i ended up going to pilates the following monday pilates classes are really hard to get into and i'm not talking about the actual workouts the actual scheduling the pilates princesses of it all are taking over the entire planet so i'm so glad i finally got a class in um it's hard to get in nowadays but in march i was getting them um the following monday i finally went to my wax appointment my wax girl is a goddess. She is not to be played with. She is that girl. So that is the end of this vlog. I know it ended abruptly. It's been an abrupt first half of the year, y'all. Um, I am super, super grateful that you guys are still here. You still come and check in on me. I love you. Just am struggling with content creation right now. I'm struggling with exactly who I am reinventing myself into. And I am honestly the thing I've been most consistent with and focused on for the past couple of months that I haven't been on YouTube is exercising, which is something I never thought I would say. I was never an active person. Um, I have a fitness Instagram that's basically my fitness diary. So if you guys want to follow me on that, I do post there pretty much whenever I work out. Um, it's becoming less and less exactly when I work out because I work out so often. I don't want to post spam posts every single day. And a lot of times I don't want to take a picture because I don't look that good. But I am really focusing on fitness right now and wellness and being better with myself. So if you guys have any types of forms of content, whether it's short form, I did a couple of short form or long form content, fitness challenges, things like that, let me know. I've been pondering the idea of 75 hard back and forth, but I just, I really am scared to do that. But anything else regarding that self-care, self-improvement, I'm really on this, I am turning into the girl that I've always wanted to be era. I'm really into my self-elevation, self-improvement vibes for this year more than ever, I think. So I'm really excited to see what's to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video, hopefully very soon. Bye.